Well, it was good to, you know, with the spring break and, and good to get back on the field tonight with the with the guys. And, and uh, we've got eight practices left, so we're almost at that halfway point, and we've got to make some got to make some hay in the next next two weeks, three weeks. Were you a little dissatisfied either with their focus or preparation coming back from the break tonight? No, I thought we had some guys really good, and then I thought we had some that uh, they got to keep growing. It's that old adage: you get better, you get worse, and I think it's real. And and you get limited number of opportunities for us to work on the field, and, and uh, just want to make sure everyone takes advantage of that. What's intriguing about Tanner as a receiver? Tanner's a heck of an athlete, I think, a uh, football player. And uh, I think it's anytime you're putting together your team, you want to take advantage of guys' abilities and play to their strengths. And um, I think he's really talented. This is my first time seeing him uh, on the I know it's from a different kid than you. What have you liked what you've seen of him this spring, you know, what he's been able to do in the opportunities? I think Alex is. You know, when you're talking about opportunities, I think he's yeah. earned the right for some. Okay. And I think that's done a, done a nice job of learning the, the what to do. Okay. And thought that he's done a nice job of, you know, that's a pretty significant transition. Yeah. And I think he's he's handled that. And uh, like you said, I think in the question, he's certainly got a lot to do mm -hmm. and, and to grow. but. I think the best way to answer that question was he's he's earned the right four opportunities, and when he gets them, I think he's done some good things with them. When you guys first started recruiting him, what did you first see in him that you liked when you started breaking him out? You know, when we first were around him, saw the film and liked that, and then was able to be with him, be around him, and uh, at a camp, and so you can spend time in the meeting room, and like the way that he approach the position and I think he's a he's a worker okay. and likes I think he's a bit of a gym rat there's a lot of things uh, those qualities I like and, and I also think he's and as you as you watch him in competition has a pretty good balance of which I think is tough sometimes for quarterbacks he competes but he keeps plays within himself Joel has played a lot of games now how much different does he look to you now compared to when you were here in 11? <laughs> a lot different. So much so I didn't really deal with him a lot when he was younger. But he's uh, kind of like we were talking about Alex. Joel had early came in and and did some things where he, you saw him grab with poise and, and also took advantage of opportunities. Are you shivering? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not moving around like that. You don't have to come. He'd <laughs> <laughs> like that. Was, was that the point of putting it outside so maybe some of us wouldn't show up? Originally, no, but now <laughs> I think we're on to something. It seemed like a lot of the passes to the sidelines were crisp, but over in the middle it was a little sloppy. Why do you think that was? Always. You've got people in in the way and around. And if you're trying to get over the top, if you're not sure when a guy's breaking, it's, uh, I think some of those are some of the things. When you're in those team situations, is the vision. I think that a lot of those things can cause that. How, how much can you play a guy both ways in this day? I mean, it, where you get to the point where you're worried about taxing him too much. Yeah, and I, I think as you... I think you're right. It's individual. Okay. You know, you have to learn the person. Okay. And then, I think another big component is you have to be able to practice it. Yeah. And and if you can do those things, probably the physical part of it is probably less than. It depends on position. You know what, what position is, but uh, if it's someone like Tanner. I think it's it's different than if it's a linebacker, tight end okay. position where there's a little more banging and physical. What are your uh, early impressions of the wide receiver group here? 
think the wide receiver groups, it's, there's been some good things, but I'd say the next you follow up with it, it's been inconsistent. And that's the thing that we've got to get is the consistency. It's kind of hard to judge simply because it is the wide receivers and the corners, but how Sojourn has looked uh, so far this spring, especially today. I've, I've liked, I thought today he had a good day. I thought he came out and uh, had a purpose to what he was doing. The more I'm getting to know him, you know, I think he, he wants to, he takes practice serious and, and values the reps there and wants to be smart, you know, understanding the why. I, I, I like him. And again, apologizing for playing catch up here, but Jamerson, the move to DB, is that something you guys approached him? He embraced or other? other he did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Certainly, any position change, you're going to talk talk with him. And, um, and I think he. He understood too why you're trying to move a guy up, and and it wasn't something that he had done at receiver to say, boy, you know we don't think you can do it here, and wanted to look at the spring and and if it was something that he didn't take to, felt like he could get back into the rhythm of the receiver. But this was a good time if you're going to do something like that. Has he taken? It seems like he's taken two. I think he's grown at it. Him as the... I think he's grown at it, and, and that's not an easy position to, to necessarily flip to. And I think he's done a good job. Certainly, he's, he's new, not new at it, but he hadn't done it for a while. Right. And, and so uh, there's a lot of growth yet to be had, but I, I think he has, you know, he's, it's the approach too. He, he's. He went all in on it, and that, that certainly helps. Uh, it seemed like after all when of his... going <laughs> to call this thing off? Uh, it, it seems like after most of his throws, DJ Gillens was either talking to you or another coach to, to kind of verify what he was doing. What, what specifically was he asking about? Was he just kind of making Oh, we sure? can't tell you the specifics, well, not, certainly. But, but I mean, uh, like, generally? You know, DJ, he's... Uh, it's, it's important. I've liked being around him, and he wants to learn it, and he wants to... No, he wants to be coached, and, and that's what was happening. Anything else?